Ed, we've spoken a lot about many things. One of the things is gun speed. And one of the things I remember you telling me one time was shoot at the back edge of the target. Logically, that's a stupid thing to say. Talking about having enough gun speed that you're pulling the trigger when you reach the back of the target. The thing with that is it's understanding how your gun speed relative to the target is going to essentially build lead in that you don't see. So your, your sight picture is based on when your brain tells you to pull the trigger, or when you tell your brain to pull the trigger rather. But obviously if you've got an accelerating gun, there's a delay between your brain sending the signal and you pulling the trigger, okay? If your gun's going fast, or a lot faster than the target, during that split second, your gun will have moved away from the point that your brain recognizes as where you were aiming, or pointing rather, and where it's shooting in space. So you're essentially getting lead built into the shot that you don't perceive from your gun speed. What we're gonna try and do here, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, is get you shooting a fixed point on a length of wallpaper. Classy wallpaper. Beautiful Laura Ashley, um, DM for collabs, um, any sponsorship opportunities, gratefully received. 10 off with Ed Solomon's 10. So you're gonna shoot with a, an accelerating gun like you're shooting a crosser. Mm -hmm. You're gonna tell yourself to pull the trigger on the aim mark, mm -hmm. okay? What we should in theory see is instead of you getting a pattern printed completely around the, the black mark on the paper, yep. it should be off to the left side by a certain amount when going right to left. Theoretically. And off to the right a certain amount. When going left How right. much gun speed do you want me to put into this? Uh, a good chunk. Don't, don't go mental. Um, I think because if you start throwing the gun around, it's, it's going to look like it's been forced. Try uh, and you shoot probably couldn't a, be that accurate anyway. Yeah. Try and shoot a nice smooth, Bang, almost yeah. like you were shooting a skeet crosser, Perfect, that yeah. kind of speed. But the key thing is you're not trying to, to preempt where the shot's going. You're trying to pull the trigger as your barrel hits the mark. That's your sight picture. Yes. And then we're going to see where the shot goes relative to what you perceive. Perfect. All right. I mean, that's a hell of a pattern for 15 yards. These pro pistons clearly designed to spread. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the positives right what now. A, what a man. Not all of us are world champion paper shooters, all right? <laughs> Listen, back in my head, I had a shot of a piece of paper like that for breakfast. Never have I felt such ridiculous pressure. You've got this, fam. <laughs> what if I just shoot it in the middle? <laughs> Not my fault. Well, I didn't mess that one up quite so well. I say mess up, I think it required probably twice the gun speed. Yeah, you're, you're pushing into that a little bit harder, so to speak. Yeah, what that's shown you there with the, with the faster gun speed going for obviously from left to right, mm -hmm. you've, correct me if I'm wrong, still shot what you perceive to be Bang at. in the middle. Yeah. yeah, fine. But with the faster gun, that's taking you half a pattern width to the right, which at, uh, what was 15 yards? Yeah. Give or take, that's probably giving you a foot or close to a foot of extra lead that you've not perceived and that's down to the gun speed relative to the target speed yeah. it's not a particularly uh, scientific way of looking at it but as a concept it's showing you that the faster your gun goes relative to a target the more leads can be built into the shot without you perceiving it you're still telling your brain to pull the trigger at the same point but the delay between the instruction getting there and the gun going off the barrel's moved on and in that case you can see 15 yards approaching a foot of extra space between your impact point and the target which is why you don't use too much gun speed where it's not necessary Tro because yeah, it's very it, hard to replicate. Use it in the right space to so understand what it's going to mean for your sight pitching your shots. Do you think there is perceived lead differences on a right to left and left to right for let's say a right-handed shooter will find one needs more lead than the other? Assuming, -wise? assuming there's no eye issues going on, no, there shouldn't be. As long as they've got sound footwork, what you sometimes find is people perceive more from one side than the other because they've got poor footwork and they're locking up as they come into so the kill decelerating out of the shot. Exactly, so one side appears to take more lead than the other, but again, that's down to gun speed, but caused by poor footwork. There should be no difference left to right at 25 metres, all things being equal, left to right, uh, right to left, sorry, at 25 metres, same distance, same speed, same angle, it should take the same amount of lead. The only time that's going to change is eye problems, possibly, or poor mechanics, but there shouldn't be any difference. So in theory, if you shoot with the same fast gun right to left, yep you'll print the pattern about a foot to the left of the target. Let's see what we can do. Have a go. Okay, so a bit more of a push and unsurprisingly, you can see the center of the pattern, I would say is there, which to be fair, that's, it's more, more than a foot, isn't it? Um, yeah, we're giving ourselves uh, just under two foot. Yeah, 18 inches, say. So again, you've got slow gun, no change on impact. Reasonably fast gun, moved out to the side. You by can foot. control that, but it, 
big fast gun, you've given it an extra 18 inches, that could obviously be the difference on a closer target between kill and a loss. So it's, it's, yeah, I suppose it's exponential, isn't it? I didn't, it was more, but wasn't much more, but yeah, that's gone from a, a potential made, kill yeah, to a potential Yeah, and as, you, as you start getting higher and higher up, sort of relative gun speed, you're gonna find one of the things is, it's harder to control. Yes. Which is maybe not so good. So there's, there's a fine balance, use gun speed, but yeah, there's nothing wrong with it, but just try, and, just try and control it. Make sure all of your shots need to be controlled. If you get to the point where you're starting to lose control of the shot because the barrel's going too fast, then you need to look at changing some of the mechanics. So whether that's a whole point or a different method, try and calm the gun speed down relative to the speed of the bird. Always try and match the two as close as you can within reason. This was actually a really fun experiment just to see on paper. On paper. Uh, interesting. And actually something that people can try at home with some luxury wallpaper and just learn their gun speeds a little bit. Yeah, and I think the important thing obviously is luxury wallpaper. That's the, the one takeaway from this. If you're not using the Ashley standard, this will not work. It's all in the results.